just a quick video for you guys that want to make a real cheap, quick, down and dirty uh, uh, filter, water filter, spirits filter, whatever. This is uh, what's fixing to go in there. You can see it's a, well, it's kind of hard to pick it up on the uh, camera, isn't it? But that is cloudy. Not bad, but cloudy. This is the finished results here. And I don't know if you can tell, but that is sparkling clean. I mean, beautifully, beautifully clean. And uh, basically, <coughs> all we did was took a two liter bottle, which is fixing to turn into a three liter, and drilled a 16th inch hole. Actually, I went two sizes above a 16th, one size below an eighth. Cut a hole at the bottom of the cap, took two coffee filters, dampened them up, packed them down, three, I'm sorry, packed them down in the neck packed them down in the neck and then after we rinsed our charcoal and I used one of these coffee filters here to uh, put the charcoal in and just kept running water through it until you know, I got the dust out of it you know that black dust and then put two coffee filters and we'll put the charcoal in two coffee filters lowered it down in there and then took two coffee filters, inverted them, turned them upside down, and then uh, put that on top of the charcoal, and then just kind of tucked it in around the edges. And that does a really nice job. This will do about a quart, a little over a quarter at a time. Uh, you see there's a little bit in there now. I'm going to take this cloudy mixture, and it's cloud more cloudy than what it looks. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it and watching. Here we go. So we'll just pour that in there. And I need to put a little diffuser plate in there to keep from pouring directly on top of that uh, coffee filter. Just a little uh, piece of plastic with a bunch of holes in it and that way I'm not messing my filter up every now and then. But there we go. Now, that's about a quart in there, and that's some charcoal that was up, that got up on the sides anyway. But what's coming out of there is sparkling clean, just like that. And that is what is going in. That's what's coming out. So that's some activated charcoal carbon uh, that I got from the, just ordered off the internet and that works really really well. It does take some flavors out that I can tell so far but we have, but that's such a good flavor to begin with, uh, smooth, I really don't, uh, I haven't had any nasties yet to see if the nasties will take out of there, but I would assume it would. All right, cheers for anybody who wants to uh, just do a quick, dirty, cheap setup. And I just have some boards sticking out here, kind of holding that, just safety, keep it from falling over. But uh, I'm gonna rig up something else, and I'm gonna leave more of the bottle. I'm gonna do a three liter. Three liter, you can get a little less than a, a, little less than a gallon in it and do a gallon at a time. All right, cheers. All right, this is uh, phase two. I went ahead and converted this over to a three liter. So it'll hold quite a bit more now. Easily hold uh, um, half to three quarters of a gallon. I just have that sitting there, just dripping out. But anyway, I don't know why I didn't think about this before. I was talking about putting a diffuser plate in there. There's the bottom of the two liters. In other words, I just cut the two, the bottom off of right there and uh, flipped it over, dropped it down in there. Now I drilled a bunch of uh, um, one eighth inch holes in that 
um, uh, the bottom of the three liter. So whenever I pour the liquid in there, it's not hitting the uh, charcoal directly, not disturbing it. So anyway, I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier. Just cut the top off, flip it over after you put the charcoal in, slide it down in there. Well, drill your holes in it, slide it down in there. And then that works really, really good. And uh, I have just under a 1 8 inch hole in there. I believe is what I said in a previous video. And enough, uh, like three filters, two or three filters stuffed into the neck. I get about one drop, about 20 drops for every 10 seconds 20 drops for every 10 seconds and that stays in the uh, charcoal long enough to clear out uh, like any strange smells or flavors or cloudiness or anything like that so I just thought I'd throw that in and that's a pretty good size filter you know you can, I take a gallon fill it up I have a gallon under the under the bottom and I take a gallon and pour it up top and then uh, I usually end up pouring maybe a third of a gallon in once it gets down a little bit because the more the more you have in there the more pressure and, and uh, the faster it seems to drip the very last drips coming out of there you know take a while that's been sitting there uh, you know long enough for it to finally drain all the way through but anyway that's a really good filter system it's activated charcoal I just ordered off the internet and uh, made a little filter and that works great you can tell that uh, that sealed up pretty good you know, we got a little disturbance in there before I put the uh, uh, diffuser plate in there but the, the where I got the idea of that diffuser plate is that's the way you build a bio sand filter when you don't want to disturb your uh, you know top inch or so of uh, uh, substrate then you like take a 55 gallon drum you cut the top out of it but you put the top back you you, you drill holes in the top of it and lay it right back down in there and uh, that way whenever you dump your water into your 55 gallon drum it's hitting the plastic and not disturbing the living uh, biosand filter in there so anyway that's some dregs. I did 10 gallons of uh, my berry blend home recipe. And this is some of the dregs I've already pulled off. Um, you know, what I could. You can see that that's some beautiful wine in there. And uh, that's the dregs that are left. Let's see. There's a glass of it right there. It's really clear, but it's hard to see because put it up in front of the light, then all of a sudden the camera starts compensating for the light. But here's some more of it here. You can see how clear it is back behind there. Yeah, so, uh, and uh, these are just leftover jars. That, that one down there's got a little bit down in the bottom. It needs to be uh, pulled off there one more time, racked one more time. But these are just leftovers. And then that right there is the recipe that I did after I brewed my berry blend wine. I put the fruit back in, made a second batch out of it. So this is going to be a much lighter wine. And that's the darker first. And then uh, there we're waiting on it down there to finish up but anyway thought you guys might enjoy that nothing like making your own homemade wine in spirits because let me tell you something that is some super 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 good wine people who don't like wine love this stuff and people who are wine connoisseurs are freaking amazed at how well the bouquet and all that how well it smells tastes you can actually easily taste and determine the fruit flavors that are in the wine which you can't do with any kind of store-bought wine but we're not limited at home to doing all the fda and epa and all that kind of crap so we can make some really good stuff all right cheers youtube if y'all need a good filtering system that one right there is cheap and easy and hard to beat basically the only cost you got in there is 
half a dozen coffee filters and a three liter bottle bottle and that right there is probably you know a good double handful of charcoal in fact if you have some idea that's a uh, little coffee filter out of a tin cup that's two of those full full of uh, charcoal so anyway all right cheers check y'all later